the Joe Rogan experience. It's doing weird shit. That's the only thing to do, anime. man. It's you know, and I don't, you know, weird shit in the sense of like, yo, shit that excites you. So it's, yes. it's like, you know, you know, don't. I'm not. I've never tried to make the same thing twice. You know, because it's like I want to be excited. I want to be scared to fail. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to. I want to be like you know, oh, that didn't work. <sighs> Next time. You know? Yeah. Well, you you've always switched shit up. That's one of the more interesting things about you. It's like when when you were doing what it's like, and when you you switched up to like Whitey Ford sings the blues, everybody was like, "Whoa, like what is this? Is this is cr- this is the jump around guy? This is the House of Pain guy?" But it 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 was uh it felt so easy to digest for most people because this is before I knew you, and I was like, "It's so easy because it's so authentic." Like it's very obvious that this was thank you the kind of music that you were writing was like music that like came from your feelings and your soul. It was like wow, this is real shit. Yeah, it was twenty twenty years Dude, ago. Dude, what it's like was a classic. Yeah, that was a classic. That was one of those songs. Was like that's a heartfelt song. That's a soul filled song. You know, that's like a universal song. Yeah, I went to uh, New York. I had left House of Pain. And went to New York with a buddy of mine and was just kind of sleeping on his couch. And he had a guitar there. I started strumming it one night and singing these little words. And he came bursting out of his room in the back like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and kind of was like, we're recording that tomorrow. We were making a rap record. I was like there to like just kind of further you know, the rap career. And nobody really knew I played guitar and stuff like that a little bit. So, But it was his, his, his encouragement that definitely came back like when he was like, I think he was with it broad back there, and he just heard the song and jumped. <laughs> like, wow. what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? And and so the next day, they basically forced me to record it. So I had to finish right. I had wrote it like that night. I had I think I had the first part, the whole liquor store guy at the liquor store thing. Yeah. But I didn't really have anything else. But he heard that part and was like, yo, we, you need to finish that. When you get those ideas, when they come to you, what, what does that feel like? Does it feel like, like a gift comes out of the universe and all of it's coming out of your the, mouth? The really good ones, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I, I, what blows my mind, and I'm going to flip it on you real quick, is, is the, 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 the comic art arc of you get to work this thing out for a whole long time. And if you're really successful on your level type thing, then you shoot a special and that joke kind of goes away. You can't yeah, you don't really get done. to tell that anymore. Different. And that blows my mind because like my whole thing is like work this thing out and build this thing that I can go out and play every night for the rest of my life. 